In today's video, we are going to go over example number two for a magnetic field for current carrying wires. You can see it says wires here, which we're going to have more than one wire, and therefore we're going to have more than one magnetic field, and therefore we're going to have super position. And before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Step by Step Science. When I look at my YouTube analytics, I see that so many people who watch our videos have not subscribed. Please subscribe, click the notification bell, give it a thumbs up, leave a nice comment, and don't forget to share this video. In addition, we have made a bunch of other teaching and learning materials. You can find our Teachers Pay Teachers website where they're looking for example problems, practice problems with all the solutions, notes, puzzles, games, activities you can do with PHET interactive simulations. It's all there. There's so much good stuff there. Check it out. The link is in the description below. And this is example number two. I made uh, example number one last week, and you can link to that in the upper right-hand corner of this video. Now, in this video, the upper right-hand corner right here, and in this video, we're going to have two current-carrying wires. We have wire number one, and we have wire number two. Now, I just put this surface right here kind of for reference. It's perpendicular to these two wires. This is a horizontal surface, and this these two wires are flowing up perpendicular to that surface, and they are four centimeters apart from each other. They have a current flowing through both of them, each of them, as 12 amperes, and we want to know what is the magnetic field at this point right here, and that point happens to be six centimeters away from wire number two. Okay, now we're going to do this problem two different ways. Once when the current is flowing through those two wires in the same direction, and once when the current is flowing through those two wires in opposite directions. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the magnitude of the magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field is a vector quantity, so we need to know its magnitude and its direction. We're going to use this equation to figure out the magnitude. The direction we'll, we'll do after we figure out the magnitude, and so we can figure out which way, I'll show you how to figure out which way the magnetic field is pointing at that point from each of those two wires. But I like to do the calculations, get those out of the way, and then we can figure out the direction. Okay. So this is the equation we use to figure out the magnitude of the magnetic field at a point from a current carrying wire. It says that the magnetic field strength is equal to mu zero, which is the perme constant perme permeability of free space, times the current divided by two times pi times r. r is the radius because the magnetic field from those two wires is a circular magnetic field around those two wires, or each of those wires, and really r is just the distance from the wire to the point. So we're going to do the magnetic field strength from wire number one first. And wire number one, the constant is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7 tesla meter per ampere. The current, we told you, is 12 amperes. And that point is 10 centimeters away from wire number one. We need to convert that to meters, so it's 2 pi times 0 0.10 meters. If you do that, you get that the magnetic field strength from wire number one at that point is 2.40 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas. Okay? That's from wire number one. Now, we also want to know the magnetic field strength from wire number two because we have two wires and we're going to superimpose the magnetic fields on them from each of them. Same equation. The only thing that's different is the constant's the same, the current's the same. The only thing that's different is the distance. And this one is only 6 centimeters so this one is 4.0 times 10 to the minus 5. You'll notice that this magnetic field strength is greater than this magnetic field strength for this point because this wire is closer to that point right there, the point B, and the uh, magnetic field strength is inversely proportional to the distance. So we decrease the distance, we increase the magnetic field strength. Okay? So that's the magnitude of the magnetic field strength at that point from each of those two wires. Now we got to figure out the direction. we got to add them up, but maybe one of them is negative and one of them is positive. So you got to make sure we know the direction because the magnetic field strength is a vector quantity. Okay? Now, this is the side view. I did this for a top view. Okay? We have wire number one. We have wire number two. We have this point. This dot means that the current from those two wires is flowing out of the page. We're going to say that the current through each of these two wires is flowing up. If I kind of look at the top view, then that would be out of the page. 
that dot, that's kind of the vector representation for a vector that's flowing out of the page. So we can use it for the current that's flowing out of the page. And now we've got to figure out the direction of the magnetic field at this point from each of those two wires. We're going to use the right-hand rule. I'm going to take my thumb. You should take your thumb. That current is pouring out of the page, and therefore you're going to grab that wire, so to speak, and hold on to it with your thumb pointing in the direction of the current. That would be out of the page. So your thumb points out of the page. If you curl your fingers, your fingers will be curling in the counterclockwise direction, and that is how you determine the direction of the magnetic field. So the direction of the magnetic field from this wire is counterclockwise. The, current, the magnetic field is flowing in the counterclockwise direction. We could kind of show that like that. You see that circle, and therefore, right there, it's flowing in the counterclockwise direction. That means at this point, the magnetic field from wire number one is flowing according to the computer screen, relative to the computer, is up. Now, this is the top view, this is the side view. If I put this one on top of this one and turn it 90 degrees, rotate it into the page, you'll notice that this one is pointing into the page. All right? Now, the magnetic field from this wire is pointing in the same direction because it's also flowing. The current comes out, you point your thumb out, wrap your fingers around. It's also flowing in the counterclockwise direction. And therefore, right there, at that point, which we're interested in, the magnetic field, which is a vector quantity, points also in the same direction. And we would call both of those maybe like negative because it's flowing in the page and usually in the page is negative and out of the page is positive. Okay, so you could call it in the page or you could call it negative, but I usually like to use the negative sign. But you should know that means it's into the page. So now we know the magnitude from each of those, the magnitude of the magnetic field. Now we know the direction, and now we can add them up. We're going to have to put a negative sign in front of each of these. They both flow in the same direction, so we're basically just going to be straight adding them up. But we put a negative sign in front of both of them, and we add those two numbers up, and we get negative 6.40 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. A negative sign right there. Now, you should know that that negative sign doesn't mean that this number is less than zero. This negative sign means it's flowing in the negative direction. Once again, the magnetic field is a vector quantity. It has a magnitude and a direction. Now, we could just put 6.40 times 10 to the minus 5 into the page. That would be the same thing. But I put minus sign right there. And you shouldn't really do both because then you have like double negatives or something. So it means it's flowing in the page, not less than zero. So that's the magnetic field strength. At that point, from those two wires, we superimpose them, we add them up and we get that value. Okay, now we're gonna take and do the same thing basically, except we're gonna say that the current from wire number two is flowing down, okay, the opposite direction, and that would be into the page. And this designation with this circle with the X through it means that it's the current is flowing into the page. Okay, so you can see this is kind of the same thing because we have the same magnitude. The magnitude hasn't changed. The direction has changed, but the magnitude hasn't changed. So from number one, it's the same thing. It's flowing in the counterclockwise direction if we use the right-hand rule. And that means the magnitude or the magnetic field points up or once again into the page. Now from number two, we're going to point our thumb into the page and wrap our fingers around. Now we're pointing our, th our thumb in the opposite direction. For number one, it's out. For number two, it's in. We wrap our fingers in the counter, excuse me, in the clockwise direction. And that means that the magnetic field from number one is flowing in the clockwise direction, which means at this point, it's flowing down, which is the opposite direction as the magnetic field here. So we're going to add them up, but you can think, oh, we have two different values here that they're going to kind of cancel each other out part way. Okay, some of this is going to cancel out. This is going to cancel out some of this. Okay, now, we, like I said, we could just say that uh, the, the number two is out of the page, which we would call the positive direction. Number one is in the page, which we would call the negative direction. So now I'm going to add them up the same way, and I'm going to get negative because this one from number one is the one that's into the page. So I put in minus 2.40 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. This one I left positive. So when I add those up, <clears throat> excuse me, when I add those up, I get that that is positive 1.60 times 10 to the minus 5 teslas. I didn't put a plus sign here. You could if you wanted to just for uh, whatever sake to, so that you're sure what's going on. But this is a positive number. And therefore, you could just leave it like that. And you could also, on this one, write uh, uh, out of the page if you wanted to put that down also. Okay? So, there you go. That's the magnetic field strength at that point from those two wires. When those two currents are flowing 
in uh, in opposite directions. Okay, if you put this, if you flow this one down and this one up, then you get the same number. You just get a negative sign. In opposite direction. All right. So there you go. Uh, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all of the following five things. All of them. Support our channel, Step by Step Science. Get all of our excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Please subscribe, click the notifications bell, give it a thumbs up, leave a nice positive comment, and don't forget to share this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.